what I love that, what, that he talked about also when he talked about, look, I don't deal with ghosts. Yeah. Is, is that, is that a, a frustrating thing, or do you ever get tired of hearing, you know, Shaq, you've been compared, you know, well, it's Shaq and Will. Well, it's Shaq and this. does that get frustrating to you? Do you listen to what people say when they try to rank players and say, well, this guy would have been better than this guy if they were both in their prime? Excuse me. I don't really find it frustrating. I find it, I actually take it as a compliment, you know, coming in as a young player, being compared to some of the greatest. So I would use that as a tool, especially getting all the criticism saying, well, he's this and he's that, he's not focused. You, you know, he's dominant like Will, you know, but he doesn't have championships like Kareem. You know, he doesn't play uh, defense like Mr. Mr. Russell. So I used to take it, you know, I used to take it as motivation. I used to use it as motivation and motivate myself to try to become as great as those guys. I mean, you know, we can never be as great as those guys. But I used to, when I was in the form, I used to look up every day and, and, and know that I had big shoes to fill. And I always just say to myself, hopefully when I'm done playing, I'll be up there with one of those guys. You want to you want to weigh in on that too because that power forward discussion always comes up, Charles, and it's well, it's hard to quantify who is a a better player or who had you know when people look at numbers. How do you how do you uh, see all that? Well, I actually thought I was the the best power forward around. To be honest with you, because I thought I was a better scorer than Carmelo, a better rebounder than Carmelo, and a better passer. And obviously, he, he, when he was here the other night, I, he did not agree. And, I, and that's fine. Yeah, first, of all, first of all, if you don't have an ego, you ain't gonna be no great player. Right. If you ain't, you ain't gonna be no great player. But I thought that Carr had John Stockton, which helped him score more than me. But I, I thought I was a better passer, a better rebounder. But Tim Duncan, you know, it's hard, first of all, it's still hard for me to say somebody's better than me. You know, because, listen, you, you can't be no great player if you don't have no ego. That's what separates you. You know, I, you know, I talk about I never met a great player who didn't have a great ego. I mean, that's part of being great. But I, I, Tim, Tim Duncan is the only power forward that I'd say, okay, that guy might be better than me. But I had never uh, met another player I thought like, because I, I can do some things better than him. But I want to pick it back on something Shaq says. I take it as a great compliment when they compare you to those greats. Yeah. They don't, the, the, the number seven, eight, nine, ten guy on the bench, they don't compare him to anybody. But when they compare you, because there is a, 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 a amount, rush more of players. You know, during my generation, you know, I, um, Michael's the best, Oscar, Wilt, Kareem, and Mr. Russell, no particular order. I got Kobe, LeBron, Magic, Bird, Tim Duncan, those guys. Oh, I don't want to forget Jerry West also. Listen, Ain't no shame being one of the top 25. Just it, It's <laughs> nice to be in the yeah. conversation. Yeah, but, Ernie, but Ernie, yeah. you know what? I just want to say one more thing. The question that has never been answered, especially by the expert, is what makes you great? Is it the championships? Is it the stats? Is it the highlights? Yeah. And so, that's kind of where LeBron landed the plane the other day when he was talking about it. He said, just be, if you're just going to count championship rings, then, you know, then Judd Bushler, I'm going to take over, yeah. over uh, Charles Barkley. Well, I, I, I agree to a point, but I, I think there is that when you get greatness and you have guys sitting here that have accomplished more than most humans have, there has to be some defining moments of, like I said about Bill Russell, being able to make guys who might not have been great, good players, made them great by being with them. And all of a sudden you thought of them as great players. Because if you think about all of the players that Michael Jordan played with, very few of them have, you would say, can go to another team and really had great success other than playing with him. And, you know, this guy, Scottie Pippen, would be one of them that could have gone to any place and played well. But there's, there's not a, 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 a locker room of guys. There's a locker room of guys that have made hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars with playing with Shaq. There's a locker room of guys that played a hundred million, hundred playing with Charles, playing with Michael. So now you do have to separate them by the championships in certain degrees. And, and that has to weigh in into the equation for sure. See, but you started by asking Bill Russell a simple question. Yeah, no, I, I think, though, too, you have to take into account who came before you. You know, guys are better. Tim Duncan's better because he watched Chuck play. Chuck was a power forward that could take it and dribble up and down the court. The reason why I think Bill Russell stands at the top and we all agree, I asked him something about defense. He told me he never saw a shot get blocked before he blocked the shot. 
He said he read in the book, the rule books, you can leave your feet and jump. He said, they told him, his first coach said, you're playing defense the wrong way. He had three blocks in a row. He said, stay on the ground. And Bill said, <laughs> okay, next time he scored two times, Bill said, I learned how to block shots by reading the book. Right. And so he didn't have an example before him. And I think, you know, each generation gets better because of the guys that – Last question. And, and, and if, you, if, if you, Chris, you thought you were the best power forward in the game? No when you doubt. Played? Okay. If he won five championships, you would be – Right up there with Tim Duncan. That's my point. Yeah. Because your skill level. If I got was drafted right to, if I played for a Popovich in that system, there it is. Maybe that too. If I was in Washington, uh, Purgatory. No so, doubt. like you say, it's it's so many but elements. You, but being your in that skill argument, set is just as good as Tim Duncan's, I agree. honestly. Yeah. But I agree. the championships is going to separate yeah. him from that. And okay. is that why you didn't block shots? You didn't know how to read. <laughs> on that note, see, oh, I just, oh, I'm no. telling you, I'm telling you right now, I, I do not, oh, I do not, on, not really, I do not like the chemistry on, on this team Smell. heading into the second Smell. half. Smell.